Okay, and so what's cool about this collection is that you can um, display your games or you could display these cool little standee things. Mm -hmm. Like I can show you. You could choose one of these games and it will display it. Or you could display one of these things. So I that was kind of cool. And so more games will be added uh, eventually. You go to the eShop and you could download more. I don't know if it's going to be free or if it's, I think it's paid online. Um, after I show off these games, we could go check out the eShop and I could show. Um, so from the beginning, we'll show Pac-Man. This is just the uh, Famicom version of Pac-Man. This is the port of the arcade title. And the thing is, to this collection, they made a um, Pac-Man um, a demake of the, uh, I forgot what it's called, the Championship Edition, I think it's called. And so um, that's going to be fun to check out. One thing I don't like is you see how it says the, the system menu and rewind thing? I wish that would, it kind of bothers me that that's on screen. I kind of would like that to disappear. But there's no option for that. And that reminds me of um, Nintendo did that with the NES and Super Nintendo where the menu stuff would be in the bottom of the screen then they released an update to get rid of it. But it's actually, it is kind of distracting. And it kind of cuts into the uh, game window. And it's kind of, sometimes it blocks stuff. Like in one of the games I'll show you, that like literally blocks the high score. And I'm like, that's weird. So I have the Namco Museum, and the Namco Museum has the arcade version of this. So it is kind of cool to have the Famicom version and the arcade version. So it's actually a pretty good port. Especially having come from the uh, Atari 2600 port, which was pretty terrible. This was pretty arcade spot on. You know? Yeah, okay. Woo, first level beaten. get to level 3, we're gonna see that cutscene. Oops, I pressed up! Oh no! So we're definitely gonna play Galaga, if you notice my shirt. I'm wearing my Galaga shirt. I haven't played Galaga in a while. for the display, you could have it widescreen, which looks terrible, like it's literally all stretched out, but um, you could do that. Some people like um, full screen games to be widescreen, but I, I do not, um, but I can show you those options. And you could do um, save states, up to four save states, and these are the, the screen settings. See it's like stretched out. You could do um, dot by dot, which is like the original dimensions, but it's really tiny, so I prefer zooming out. Hey, Chris Levi, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. And guys, check out uh, Chris Levi. He's mostly on Twitch, but I mean, mostly on YouTube. But he uh, is going to be doing more stuff on Twitch, right, Chris? Uh, 
There we go. Oh, you were playing Call of Duty Modern War Warfare last time on um, on Twitch, huh? <laughs> Those are controller settings, we don't need to set that. There's wallpaper settings. Um, I think this wallpaper is interesting, and then this one is weird. But I don't really care for that one. We can change to that one. And, uh... We're gonna give one more go of Pac-Man, because I want to get to level 3. And then we'll check out the other games on the collection. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe you could do, like, a certain type of game on Twitch versus YouTube. Like, I feel like Twitch is a great place to do retro stuff. So maybe you could do retro on here, and then if it's a, um, a new popular game, then you could do that on YouTube. Something like that. Because I tried out Trubo. And um, there was no retro scene on there. It was kind of like Mixer. There was just no retro scene. So I'm like, I'm gonna stick to doing retro on Twitch. And um, oh, 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 whoa, oh. And there's also there's games on this collection I never heard of. But also, this has Splatterhouse, which is pretty awesome. The Famicom version, so that's going to be fun to play. One of the main reasons why I got it, even though I have the cart for it, this was the first time it's ever um, been officially released since the original release, so that's a big deal. I felt like Namco was never acknowledging that it existed. No. Did you see that? Did you see that? That was so close. I just wanted to see that cutscene. That, that, that's why I'm glad we finally got to it. That was like the first ever video game cutscene, to be fair. That was like, games didn't have that. So that was like a big deal. They literally just took the apple sprite and made it like a peach color. And I was like, that's a peach. Oh no. Oh. Let's check out another game. Galaga, yay! And I love that they had the graphic of the original cart. Alright, here we go. 
Have pay is a long time. So I'm holding down the A button, so I don't know if the original had auto fire or did they add that to this. Oh, I just ran right into it. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh. It's always that last one that, that gets you. Especially when they get really close like that. Oh, I forgot this does have a rewind feature. So let's let's try that. All right. So that 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 helped me get whoa. That's a rewind. See the way the rewind feature is kind of strange, right? It just kind of like jumps you back a few seconds. It doesn't necess It doesn't actually rewind, which is kind of strange. We'll just take that death. Uh, let's do another run of that. I think I got a little more used to the controls. Yeah, I think I would have liked a traditional rewind. Like, it looks like they're actually rewinding. Like, I have the um, rare replay. And on Rare Replay, it literally rewinds it like you're rewinding a VHS, which I really like. This, it's just like, it's weird to have a little prompt window that says you want to rewind, and it just randomly takes you god knows how, well, like maybe a few seconds previous. It's an interesting design choice, it's strange. collection, so you might as well go for it. See? I'm gonna rewind. Oh. Yay, now we got the challenging stage. Oh, 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 oh. Stage four. All right. Uh, as soon as stage four started, I get hit. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Captured by this thing, and then I could rescue him, right? And then that's how I power up my ship. I think that's what I do, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, 
I, I wasn't sure about that. I'm glad that I uh, tried it. So if I let it capture me again, could I get like three in a row? It's been so long since I played this. Whoa. Stage six. Not that oppressive because I don't know if I could have gotten here without you on me. Okay, challenging stage. I feel like I should do a save state and then we should check out another game, right? When I get to the next stage, uh, I'll, I'll do a save state you know, to show you how that works. Well, that's one more than the last challenging stage, right? It's stage 8. So, I'm going to do a save state. There we go. Simple as that. Returning to the menu. And now Tower of Yuanka. Which I've played briefly. It's a strange game. It's not the best game. It's okay. So basically, you have to fight these slimes. And then you have to get the key to open the door and to get treasure. I played the arcade version, not so much the Famicom version. The arcade version is on the Namco collection. So when you attack, you have to hold down the button and just kind of... Like those enemies in Streets of Rage that, <laughs> that hold up the knife. It's kind of like that. It's weird, because at first I thought I had to like actually attack. No, you just poke them with the sword. I don't know why I'm going this way. I have to go the other way. Sometimes there's treasure chests, so that's what I'm looking for. Poke the blob! Oh, okay, so that's how you make treasure chests for you. Cool, I got a pickaxe. I don't know what I used a pickaxe for. What do I use the pickaxe for? Let me see. Is there a way to look at... No, when you start the game, it shows you the instructions, but once you start the game, I guess there's no way of looking at the instructions. Okay. Alright, so I think we just gotta... Maybe the key's over here. There we go. Now, I don't know the difference between the green slimes and the black slimes are, um, but I feel like maybe we should go get one to... See if another treasure will appear, and I, I still don't know what the pickaxe is used for. There we go. Come on, slime. Ooh. There we go. I'm going to go down this way. I like the music. The music doesn't make it sound really epic. Like, there's not much going on here. <laughs> but the music is, like, epic. It makes you feel like you're going on an adventure. Maybe the third floor has something. There's something about very simplistic games like this that I love. Oh! Yeah, you can't have your sword even slightly out. It has to be fully out or it, it doesn't count as an attack. Okay, 
He's just so slow. I just wish there was a power up to speed him up. Maybe there is. I wish there was a power up to speed him up this week. Come on, come on, Blobby. Should we fight him? I might lose. Oh. I don't know how to fight him. Maybe I should, I should ignore him? Just kind of get past him? Yeah, I'm just gonna grab the key and, and get him. Uh oh, he's coming after me. Oh, there's two of them. Let's see if I can sneak past. Yep. So yeah, I, I'm assuming the levels get more advanced, like more tricky. Cause we're only on floor four. Oh, that blob is covering that key. Oh, what the heck was that? It was like a wizard. Oh no! That, that looks like the wiz robes from Zelda. They appear and disappear. Okay. Can I continue? I can continue. Let's see. You can continue from floor one. That's not really continuing. That kind of sucks. You get to keep your stuff? Do I get to keep the pickaxe that I had? Oh, okay, so that's that's what continue means. You get to keep the stuff that you got, but you're still starting from the beginning. So I don't know about that. Let me save that. Maybe that pickaxe is rare or something. So let's go on to the next game. Battle City. Now I never heard of this one. So let's do the go. I assume this was an arcade title. Construction, I guess that you could build your own stages? That's pretty cool. Oh, I get to pick what stage I want to be on. Well, I, I, whoa. Look how many stages. No, I just want to, I just want to start in stage one. That's a lot of stages. All right. Shovel. I don't know what that shovel's for, but. So, yeah, I definitely have to protect that eagle that's down there. Oh, oh no, you don't. Is there an item that will rebuild that wall? Or I'm just screwed. Oh. Should I rewind? I'm just gonna go with it. Was that a one up? Oh, no, no, no. No, no. No, no. Oh. I did good. A lot of tanks that came at me for stage one. I, I'm scared about the other stages. Oh, now we got trees. Can we go through this? Oh, okay. It just it just like covers the top, so it kind of camouflages. I'm stuck. I have to go up, and I don't want to. Is there a wall up here? I really want to get this guy, this blinking guy. Come back over here. Got him. Oh, 
Oh, those green guys take two hits. I didn't know that. I'm gonna rewind. No. Don't, Mr. Green Guy. No, you don't. Oh. Oh, no. I'm gonna rewind that. I'm not gonna get no game over. I blew up the own- okay, you can blow- I didn't know you can blow up your own thing there. That's not cool. Oh, that's tough. Okay. No. Static Arbiter with a rating with a party of four. How are you doing, Static? How was your um, Assassin's Creed where you're having trouble climbing up walls again? And people, check out Static. Oh, you weren't playing Assassin's Creed. You're playing Final Fantasy. Cool. He was like, enough of those walls. I'm going to play Final Fantasy. Oh, I just blew up. Thing. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, the shovel. I don't know what the shovel's for. I'll grab it. You're trying to understand? <laughs> well, guess what? I was playing Paper Mario, and I got up to a boss, and I was so confused. And I was really embarrassed, because I don't think that it's that complicated, but for some reason, I could not figure it out. I was like, what the hell? So I gave it a good go, and I didn't want to torture my viewers by <laughs> seeing me play it, you know, over and over again. So I wanted to showcase this collection anyway, so I thought, okay, let's go to the uh, Namcock collection. I played a little Pac-Man, I played a little Galaga, and uh, now we're checking out Battle City, which I've never played before. And it's pretty fun, it's like, it's like Tank from, um, that's what it was called, Tank, Atari 2600. No. So I, I'm making use of the rewind feature. I was proud that I beat C9 boss on my first try. That's awesome. That doesn't sound like you're trying to understand it. That sounds like you, uh, you, you're, you're understanding it. trap them all in the, in the corner there and just start shooting them, but... Nope. Oh, that was good. Oh, the helmet does a shield. So I could be more aggressive now. Oh, what is that star? It just points. Oh, I didn't see him behind the, the tree there. Oh, he just spawned on top of me. Oh, I keep hitting the rewind button. Oh, I don't Kill that. Oh, no. 
Uh, I would have played more, but I just got tired. Yeah, it, I, I can understand that. Hey, yeah, when you start getting tired, you, you can stop. Your viewers will understand. Alright, so that was Battle City. I actually really like Battle City. It's simplistic, but it's actually pretty fun. I already have a save file from there. That looks like the, the, the stage... No, what stage was that? I don't know, but I got further along than my last save state, which is cool. Um, now we can try Star Luster. This, I played this, uh, I've been playing this the most from this collection. This was really unexpected. I actually really like this game. I actually might hunt down the original Famicom cart because I actually really like this game. And it's kind of like a Star Wars kind of game. Yeah, no problem. Enter Lurk Mode. Uh, get some rest. But thank you for the raid and thank you for dropping by. So there's training mode, there's command mode, um, there's adventure mode. Um, let me show you the training mode. Doesn't that sound like Star Wars music? This is a blatant ripoff. Anyway, so you see where the enemies are. If you just jump there, you could actually do a, um, what do you call that? Just like a teleporting kind of hyperspeed thing and go right to where the enemy is in the solar system. And now that we're where the enemy is, now we're gonna follow the map there. And those white dots are where the enemy is. Oh, there he is. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Now, this is pretty good graphics, considering this is a Famicom. And this was like early Famicom. They did a really good job at like pseudo 3D kind of. This is all trickery to make you think you're fighting in uh. Where is this? Oh, 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 there he is. Oh, 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 oh. Now, I don't know what B means, but let's go to where the E is. Hey, eight people watching. Thank you very much. Hope everyone's having a good night. I'm not usually a fan of like these flight simulator kind of thing. like I'm not a Star Fox fan or Star Wars or anything like that. But I don't know, something about this game, I actually, I guess maybe because I'm impressed with it from a technical standpoint point of view, I, I, uh, something about it I like. Also, playing on a joystick is really nice. Imagine playing this with a D-pad, this would be... Not so good, so I kind of like that I'm able to play this with a um, analog stick. I think maybe the B means base, like maybe I could go there and replenish my energy. Maybe we should try that. After I do, oh, 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 oh. Let's, let's go to B. Maybe we maybe this will do something.
No, there seems to be something here. Oh, or maybe that dot is me? Yeah, I don't see anything here. Okay, you press select and then you can go back to selecting where to go. So yeah, I don't know where, what, what B means. If anybody knows, let me know. took a lot of hits. Oh, and I got a hit. Well, my shield refilled, which was nice, but my energy hasn't. So, we'll have to see if we're able to take out this last wave of enemies on that low energy. to know how to refill my energy. I thought going to the, 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 the bees on the map would allow you to replenish your energy, but maybe not. Also, I'm not seeing anything. Like, it would be cool if you could blow up, like, just, uh, like, like, icons on the, on the screen there, and then it would, like, replenish your energy. I don't see anything like that. We did it. Your rank is Pilot Officer Mosquito. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. So that was training mode. Like when it comes to command and adventure, I don't know what the differences are. But um, we can move on to the next game. Or maybe I should save that I'm Mosquito. I don't know if that matters. But we'll, we'll save that. My name is Family Jockey. Uh, I have not played this. Uh, I guess we'll do one race.
uh, I don't know the name of these horses, these horses because I don't speak Japanese or Japanese. Um, let's just go with the first one. That's a pink horse, but they're all pink. To do. Oh, I'm spamming the E button. Oh, so, oh, 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 uh oh. Come on, horsey. Oh, what's that? What's that G for? Oh, I missed it. Come on, horsey. Come on. Oh, the B button, he could jump. Okay, well, I didn't see... I guess there's going to be, um... There could be some sort of obstacles to jump over. Spamming the A button! No, why is there a green horse? There's two green horses. It's kind of weird. The screen cannot catch up to these horses. Did you see that? Not only is there slowdown, but like they go past the screen, so I can't see. Come on! Why did he slow down? I guess he got tired. I guess I'm, you're not supposed to spam the A button so much. I, I almost had it. Okay, so there, there's definitely a rhythm to this game. Okay, yeah, you see that red meter? That's his energy, I think. Or I don't know, because he got tired all of a sudden and he wasn't... Now I'm scared to spam the A button, but then if I don't press the A button, he doesn't go. Of that game. <laughs> I wasn't crazy about that one. This is strange. And now we're doing a uh, yokai dochi. Dochuki. I don't know what yokai dochuki is, but it's an adventure. Creepy, look at those bodies down there. Um, what are those frogs? Okay. Oh, I should go up here. Oh, I can't. How am I supposed to get that then? Maybe just regular jump? Yeah. Oh, we're playing a game here. 
Did I win? I don't know what I'm picking. I think I lost. Right. I don't, I don't think that's required. I think that maybe that's to get extra lives? Oh! I was like, what is that? Oh no. Wait, should I get that? how this used the same engine as Splatterhouse, because it, just, it looks similar. Obviously the graphics are not as dark as Splatterhouse, it's, the, it's a little more bright. What the hell is that? But like, the sprites kind of remind me of it, and the gameplay is similar. Oh, oh no. going in circles. Am I progressing? Wait, I want to get that. Whatever that is. No! Oh. oh! Oh, but I can rewind! That's a good thing about rewinding. scary looking. I think those things are in Splatterhouse. Oh, oh, no. This one death, one hit death, so this is like Splatterhouse. Contra. One hit devs. Yeah, I like this game. It's strange. Oh, the boss fight. Oh. I wonder, do I have any power-ups or do I have any... I'm pressing select. Oh! What was that? I pressed select and then he made a ghost pop out. Um, okay, I like that. Yeah, if you have a ghost, let the ghost do the battling for you. Why not? I'm for that. Oh. That was not good. There we go. Cool. I don't know, I don't like this game. Better than that uh, horse jockey game. What? What's, what's going on here? 
Oh, I can buy food. Um, yes, my power is low. Uh, 5,000 bucks is pricey, but I have 41,000, so I'll buy this. That, that, that went up, that brought up my power pretty well. I don't know what this stuff is. Maybe it makes my, um, my power stronger? Flippers? I guess that makes you, um, swim faster? I will buy this because I feel like that will help me. Maybe. And, uh, let's, uh, end. How do I get out of this? Okay. Yeah, I think it made my attack stronger. Oh, look, 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 sneak, sneak. To start you from the beginning or to see what continue it does. Okay, I think I still have the same power. So I'm going to save. I'm gonna save over this. I, I like that one. But, that, but let's check out another game. So yeah, uh, Wagon Land, I've played a little bit and I like it. But it's strange where it's just it's a very simple platformer and then you, you do puzzles. So I will show you. So you're playing as this guy who kind of looks like a chameleon. I really like the graphics because it looks exactly like Pac Land. Like this is pretty much what Pac Land looked like. And you can't kill enemies, you just kind of stun them. So it's kind of like. Me Metroid Zero Mission, in a way. That's funny to compare this to that, but... It's like when you enter a Zero Samus movie. Zero C Samus. It's a mole! Hey, Weapon X! How you doing? I can, I can use him as a platform? Hey, I'm gonna do a shout out. Hey everybody checking out check out Weapon X next to you playing Super Mario Maker 2. I'm doing well, I'm just trying out the different games on here. A lot of, there's, there's games here I never heard of. And so it's fun to check them out. Oh, well that's the equivalent of like a superstar. Look at that. Get rid of those moles. Oh, I got a one up. Let's 
some of them I have. Like uh, Pac-Man I've obviously played, uh, Galaga, and um, Splatterhouse is on here. Um, but there was a game called um, Star Luster that I just played that I really liked a lot. And I never heard of that game. It plays like Star Wars. And this game I never played before. And I played some like horse jockey game, which I never played before. So yeah, there's, some of them I have played, and then some of them, you know, is complete mystery. So there is a rewind feature, which is awesome, so I could just... Show the puzzle part of this and then when I'm done with that I'll show you the list of games. Oh good I needed that. Uh oh boss time. What's funny is that the bosses don't want to fight you, they want to play a match game. So basically you have to match the objects, like right, right there, candle goes with... something. Oh, we have to pick, uh, does, does candle go with... time? No. Does it go with sun? No. Where does the candle go to? Ink? No. Baby bottle? A fox? I don't know... a sock? Okay, a candle goes with a sock. Does that make sense to you? No. Okay, so now the sun. The sun goes with... a shoe. Okay, now the moon. The moon goes with... a mouse? A... A, a warthog? No? Okay. That warthog kind of looks like Ganon. Um, but yeah, so that's that game. And uh, let me show you... You have Pac-Man, was it a handheld one? Cool. So the, these are the games that I, I played through. I played through Pac-Man, Galaga, Tower of Juaga. Battle City, Star Luster, Family Jockey, uh, Yoku, Duchi, and Wagon Land was the one I just played. And next we'll do Dragon Spirit. But that's another reason why I kind of wanted this collection, because um, it's just a mix of games that some of them I knew some I did. But I've heard of Dragon Spirit, but I just never really got into it. Okay, so you press B to shoot, and then um, A does bombs. Oh, yeah, similar to that. Oh, oh. It kind of reminds you of Space Harrier.
This boss is taking a lot of hits. Oh, there we go. Oh, so he could choose to be a, blue, uh, a color dragon. I chose the blue dragon. I accidentally just skipped past that part real quick. But yeah, you can choose what uh, dragon you want. Oops, I just put your name. It's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Check out Kobayashi. He was playing Warcraft last time. How are you doing tonight? What, 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 what? What's the tool? I found an egg. What's in this egg? Oh, now I'm a double-headed dragon. They have double-headed dragons in Warcraft, don't they? Oh. I'm gonna rewind, because I, I lost my double head. There we go. That's what good about having rewind. It's, it's pretty good. Whoa, look at this! I got tiny little dragon dudes next to me. Blow this up. There we go. Blow this up. Oh. Why am I spamming the button? I just hold it down. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, I think that that guy you saw with the the that guy you saw that like turns into a dragon, and so maybe that's why it's dragon spirit because it's a person who transformed into a dragon. So I think that's why it's like spirit. But I, I, I can't read Japanese, so I, I'm not exactly sure. But I think that's what it is. Just some dude turned into a dragon. Oh. Oh. No. There's too many things coming at me. No. Oh, I can shoot those tornado things, I didn't know. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. What is this thing? No.
Oh! That thing went down quick. Oh, thank you for rescuing me, you dragon person. I'm so happy. I assume that's what she said. Area 2 Volcano. Uh, so, yeah, I really like this game. Why don't we check out another one? I would definitely be doing a save state for this, because I did really well there. <laughs> yeah, like, I wasn't doing any rewind when I was playing Pac-Man when I started, and then when I was playing Galaga, that's when I remember, oh yeah, rewind. So, now there's Quinty. I don't know what Quinty is. Uh, defeat bad guys and save your girlfriend, Jenny. Okay, is this a card battle game? Made by Game Freak. Hey, we've heard of them before. Uh. Um. What do I do? Oh. Yeah, who knew? Wait, what is this? Oh. I, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just kind of pushing them against the wall, and then they explode. Oh, I got a 1-up. Wait, what is this sun over here? Oh! Yeah, th I actually like this. It's interesting. Oh no, time for a rewind. Oh, did you see that? That was nice. Yeah, see, it starts out really simple, and then the screen gets filled with enemies. So I want to keep collecting these stars, because hopefully like another power-up will show up. No? Yeah, I'm not really sure about the panels. I did it. I spammed my way out of that. Yeah, I do get points for that. There's 
so many. And they keep like reappearing and disappearing. No. <laughs> I just have to keep spamming the rewind. I apologize for doing that. That does not make me a good gamer. What the hell is that? Oh, was that a bad thing? That was like a bad thing, I think. Oh, no! Oh! Is this like a bonus stage? Cool, I think it's like a bonus mode. Get all the stars! And thank you to the eight people watching, I appreciate it. for time to run out. Okay. Yeah, it's tricky. It's hard to not get hit when they all just cluster around you like that. They did do other games. Uh, I recommend checking them out. Uh-oh. I'm cool with starting over. It's like, you know, I don't know how to get out of there. I totally didn't expect to see Game Freak on here, because um, all the games on here I thought were just developed in-house at Namco. But uh, no, there's... what? Something's happening. Oh no! Who's that dude? So I could choose where I want to go, which is kind of cool. What about this, this sumo looking dude? Oh no, these guys are... These guys look tough. Oh, oh yeah, these sumo guys are harder to push back than the other guys. Whoa, oh, and they can knock me back. Oh no. Get away from the sumos. This is tough. This is tough. Yeah, he kidnapped my girl. No. Did you see that? He just killed all the other guys. Well, he did me a favor.
Yeah, I like when enemies do that. So yeah, this takes strategy. You can kind of maneuver in a way where the enemy knocks out the other enemies. So, I, I really like that game. I'm surprised. So that, that's actually, yeah, solid. Good. Now we're into the good one, the Splatter House. Have you played this weapon? So it's funny the way this starts out, she's mourning the death of her boyfriend. And then lightning strikes, and yay, her boyfriend's alive. But then of course she gets me because lightning wakes up this guy too. Hello, I am Pumpkinhead. No, I'm being kidnapped by Pumpkinhead. Oh no. Yeah, she had to. This will be your grave, ha ha ha. Chop, chop, chop. So yeah, so this, this is basically a chibi version of Splatterhouse. It's a cute little chibi version. I wouldn't say it's for kids, because it's still kind of violent. And of course he levels up by uh, eating candy. Just rewind. I was getting hit too many times. Just rewind to the part where I didn't get hit so much. Yeah, I ran through these crosses. What you have to do is just kind of wait until they... Candy. Oh no, demon dogs. And his head is flying out. No. No. Yeah, that's probably why this didn't appear in the U.S. There's a, uh, a lot of games um, were banned by Nintendo of America from having any religious imagery, no crucifixes, no Bibles, like that. Oh, here's Michael Jackson. And yes, this is supposed to be a parody of Thriller. get hit by that. Oh my god, you see how many times I got hit? That was not good. So I think, yeah, you don't hit him, you just gotta destroy these enemies. Until time, and until a certain number. I don't know how many, but. I got hit way too many times right there. I'm so cheap. Alright, that's it for Michael Jackson. 
Oh, I got a hamburger. That was nice. Good thing that burger just happened to be uh, sitting outside this house. Oh no, it's Thing from the Adams Family. We. I'm not gonna get that hamburger yet. Uh oh. Oh no, it's books! The scariest thing of all! Don't make me read! I don't wanna learn stuff. No. Yeah, Anna's family is awesome. Uh-oh. Possessed Dolly. Oh no, demon doll. Oh no, I have to fight chairs. Anything but chairs. So, I think I avoid the chairs and then just hit her head? Oh! No problem. Be garbage of cesspool. Uh -huh. Be garbage of cesspool? I'm gonna do a save state. Because I did really well there. Oh. oh, another hand. Candy. Hit all the all those times for nothing. There's nothing over there. Maybe there's something over here. Oh no! Chickens and knives. Chickens and knives. Headless chickens and knives. No. Hey, d -Nick, thank you so much for the 100 bits, I appreciate it. <laughs> Cesspool garbage is my favorite garbage, yeah. I'm fighting headless chickens and, and knives. I'm scared. No. gonna keep rewinding. Alright, that's good. Well, I, am I supposed to fight the chicken or the, the knife? Yeah, it's definitely uh, the reason why I got the collection. Even though I have, I have the Famicom cart. To show you guys, um, here is my Famicom card. Here it is. So I have the original Famicom card. 
But it's cool to have it digital and to have it like with rewind and stuff. So I definitely recommend um, this collection specifically to play this game because it's uh, a lot of fun. Okay, so I think I avoid the knives and then I just attack the chickens. Yeah, Splatter the first Splatter House was in arcades. And then it got ported to the Turbo Graphic 16. Then the second Splatter House and the third Splatter House were on Genesis. And and this one, I don't even know where in the timeline this came out. Maybe right after the first one? But this was only released in Japan. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have to avoid the knives and just go after the headless chickens. I'm sure the prices are really high for them because they're um, cult games. I have a... Uh, did you ever play Spider House on the Xbox 360? And I think it was on PlayStation 3. It was like a, a remake. And I, I really liked it. It got bad reviews. I might stream it sometime. Um, and in there, you could unlock the first three Splatter Houses. They had the original three. So I recommend picking that up too. Um, Splatterhouse 2008, I think it's called, or 2010. But yeah, that has the originals on it. So you don't have to get the original carts. You could just get that. It has all of them on it. Yeah, I recommend checking that out. Oh, well, I'm going down. The cesspool. I think it's interesting when I kill the mice, they turn to like goo or something. Oh, yeah, I recommend playing them, they're a lot of fun. I wish Namco would make another one, just that, that, that Splatterhouse remake did really bad in terms of sales and uh, critically. So they just never went back to the franchise after that, and it's a shame, because I really liked it. So I feel like they could go back to this classic style, or they could make a remake, either one. Make a Splatterhouse collection. Okay, so I've gotten up to this boss before, and I don't know what to do. You see how the wind is pushing me? I don't know how to fight the wind. You see how I... Oh, okay, I'm, get, I'm getting there. When I've done this before, I felt like I wasn't moving at all. But I, I am a little bit. Yeah, you just, you just gotta, gotta keep spamming forward. Oh no.
Well, the reviews that people are saying, I was like, oh, it's just repetitive and it's just mindless. And I'm like, well, so were the originals. I mean, like, that's the thing. That's why I loved about the remake. It was exactly like the originals. It was just mindlessly destroying monsters and it was really gory. And it was kind of tongue-in-cheek and kind of B-movie-ish and over the top. And that's what was great about it. So it actually was just like the original. So I didn't understand the complaining. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, I, I, I've always had trouble with this boss when I played it before, so... I think I have to move forward without attacking every time I kill one. Oh, oh I'm so close. Oh, did you see that? Oh, I did it! Oh... Oh, it's just a little mousey! Okay. Oh, that was not easy. Mindless entertainment can be pretty fun. Yeah! I had the tick. SPOON! Oh god, have you played the tick on Super Nintendo? That is... tough. Welcome to Devil Town. The Tick, I, I did a whole playthrough of The Tick uh, on Super Nintendo on my channel, and it was like, um, it was video only, there was no voice or camera, which is a good thing, I guess, because I just wanted it to be over. It was so repetitive. It was just really mindless, and it wasn't that fun. But I think repetitive, mindless fun, repetitiveness can be fun if done right. The tick was not one of them. Oh, are these bugs? Can I go in this house? Yep. Or should I go over there? It seems over here. That's a beautiful painting. Um, should I go down here? No. Oh no. Trying to avoid getting hit. Maybe we'll fall over here. That chair face. Oh yeah, it, it freezes that chair face? Oh no. Yeah, look at that skeleton up there. Using too much help. Aliens, chest burster. There's a lot of chest bursters just bursting out of her. Oh no. <laughs> I, I 
I apologize for spamming the rewind. face huggers but they look like um spiders so i'm gonna use my first uh continue yeah you only get four continues and i'm gonna save state this oops no i wanted to put it here there we go I like that the continues leave you at the boss. You know how many games don't do that? A lot. Chest bursters does this girl have? <laughs> yeah, can you imagine if you had that many chest bursters inside of you? Not cool. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I got a piece of candy, which is weird. Oh, this is so hard. Imagine doing this while safe states. I mean, it can be done, but it's just so... Ugh, it's just too many. Oh, she's fine. She's just sleepy. Okay. Pumpkins. Give me candy. I don't know. Give me candy pumpkins. this with uh, my health. you could flatten these trash cans and there's stuff in them. Oh, church! Well, that's another reason why this can't be in, uh, couldn't be in North America. Yeah, how is she okay? Yay, let's go to church. There's zombies in church. Pay no attention to that. Yes, a very dark church. Oh, um, this is not church. What kind of satanic crap is going on here? Oh no! What's going on here? Oh, these little demons are giving me candy. That's nice. They're not so bad. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this, uh, this double goat is definitely, uh, not religious. <laughs> it's a satanic church, yeah. Again, this is why this could not be released in North America. I'm sure Nintendo of America. I don't, I'm sure this wasn't even sub submitted to Nintendo of America. They, they would have had a uh, heart attack. <laughs> you can't put satanic churches in video games nowadays. Not, not like the good old days when you could. Not like the good old days when you got satanic churches. Sure, I'm gonna get through this. See, like, if you'd like play this over and over again, you would understand the patterns, but like, I'm rewinding because I, I don't know exactly the patterns. But you could get through this if you just play it over and over and over and over and over again and just understood the patterns, like battle toads and stuff. But it's not easy when you don't exactly know the patterns. I'm not gonna go far too bad. Back too far. Yeah, I'm just having difficulty trying to avoid his attack. Oh, he, you see that? He disappears when you hit him. I could take that to my advantage. I got him in a loop right there. Oh! Yay! like Elm Street a little bit. No. I got hit way too many times. Yeah, these pumpkin guys. Uh oh, the fly! Uh oh, look, the fly! Is this Baxter Stockman? Nope. Is Jeff Goldblum? It looks just like him. No, where's Gina Davis? No. She, I need Gina Davis and her shotgun. Do a shout out to Rock Knot. He plays Raid Shadow Legends. So you're talking about the Jewish church. You can see the candles and the day star David on the floor. Yeah, no, that's a pentagram. Yeah, Jurassic Park movie. So I want do I just hit the flies or do I have to hit him? Because it's hard to hit him. I'm gonna use a continue because I would get full life. Uh, let me save. Alright. Doesn't that look exactly like Jeff Goldblum? They got his likeness perfect. That's exactly like him. No, but that's what I really like about this game, you know, they, they do tribute to a lot of things like Aliens and The Fly and I don't, I don't know what else, but they definitely do... 
Oh, I got him. Okay. It's hard to time an attack and dodge those flies. Because he actually doesn't hit me. It's the little, little guys again. There we go. Yeah, yeah, this is a parody of the, the fly right now. Did I get him? It's like that. Yeah, it's a movie that came out in the late 80s with Jeff Goldblum. He made this thing. I forgot what the, the machine was supposed to do. Was it wasn't supposed to, like, make you live longer or something? But a fly went into the machine while he was doing it and uh, transformed him into the fly. Screw your tiny uh, weapon, that head of yours. Give him a glass of kiss. I never heard of the fly. Late 80s, right? It was a teleporter, that's what it was. It's been so long since I've seen that movie, I was like, what was he trying to make? Yeah, so while he was trying to teleport from one thing to the other, a, a little mosquito fly thing got in there and it ended up mutating him. Yes, I am 12. I've never seen that movie, ever. Do I go inside? Oh, I go inside! Am I being teleported? Oh, I'm not, they took me to Japan for some reason. Okay. Uh, some things age well, others don't. It's all just a little bit. I don't know, I think The Fly is a good movie if you watch it now. I'm not sure. Well, MB the Great, you're subbing? That's awesome. Yeah, everything's going well with me. How are you doing? Everybody, check out MB the Great One. He is awesome. I really appreciate the uh, the sub. Rock Band 4? Oh, I, I missed that. I didn't see you playing Rock Band 4. Yeah, just checking out the Namcock collection. See? 
um, has a lot of cool games that were released on the Famicom. What is going on here? Um, which door do I go into? Let's try this last one. I don't know if it matters. Oh, I think it's a maze. Um, okay, and then maybe let's go to the first door. Just got Oliver to bed. It's been a while since I streamed. Yeah, I would like. I, I, I kind of miss watching your stream. Hope to catch you on next. Yeah, this is a maze. Let's try the middle door. Oh, what the hell is that? It's it's giant mushrooms. No mushrooms. I do love mushrooms. Oh. oh, cool! What were you thinking of streaming? Where am I supposed to go? Is this a platform? I didn't know that was a platform. Oh, am I on the roof? Oh, okay. What wall? Oh! This lady's throwing tea at me. And oh, we got bamboo shooting from the ceiling. Oh no. Oh, she threw tea at me and died. Alright, you have a good night, weapon. Thank you so much for dropping by. I'm gonna do a save state on that. I'm surprised how far I got in this. Oh, retro or draw for the whiplash? That's cool. Yeah, bamboo shoots, get it? Would you like a spot of tea? Ooh! That's some toxic tea, why is it green? Um... But how am I supposed to get... There, there's your team. These, these are sharp bamboo. Okay. That's a lot of doors. Oh, hello, are you gonna serve me some sake? Oh, this is nice. She's doing a little dance for me. I'm suspicious. What was that? Uh, no, this has the Dean. This has the Dean make of uh, Pac-Man. That's what I'm gonna play next. Welcome to the band. I will give you a crystal ball. Good luck to you. So yeah, no, this has the Dean make of Pac-Man um, Championship Edition, and I'm gonna show you that after. It's the last game on this collection. <laughs> yeah, it just looked like he farted. I was like, what? What happened there? But I got a lucky ball. Diamond Lake. Ghosts come here with a ray. Okay. I don't know what that means, but okay, here we go. Ooh, a burger. Well, I don't need it, but I'll take it. No, no, that was terrible. I'm gonna rewind that. So yeah, Bo, when I get when I'm done with this, either when I get frustrated or when I beat it, I'll show the uh, the DMA because that that that's what that's the highlight of this collection. I've been playing it, it's really addictive. And what's cool is people have ripped the ROM out of this collection and put it on an NES cart. You could literally play it on an NES. So they they did a legit NES game. They didn't just, oh, I got a shotgun. Well, I didn't expect that. Um, so that's what's really cool. Did I just shoot like a walrus or something? What was that? Oh, no. Oh, that's a ghost. That ghost looks like a walrus. 
maybe it's a walrus ghost. Are those two legs sticking out? What, what is that? I, I'm not gonna ask. Oh, they got my shotgun. I could've used a shotgun against the fly. Oh, I only have two shots left. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, I did terrible right there. Rewind time. Oh. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. yeah, I recommend it. It's it's cool. Um, what happens is the the U.S. version is digital only, and they divided it into two collections. I don't know why. And I said, screw that. I'm getting the import. So the import is a mix of some some of the games from Collection 1 and some of the games from Collection 2. Again, it's very confusing. I don't know why they chose to do that. Um, apparently, there will be more games for me to download on this Japanese version. I have to do it on the Japanese eShop, which I have access to, so I can do that. I think I have to pay for it. I'm not sure if it's free DLC. But I will do another video on that, and I'll keep you guys posted on that, because I think I will get it, because I like these games. I'll have to get a Japanese eShop card, but I've done that before. But yeah, it's confusing. It's a, it's a, oh, a shark. No, oh, Jaws! No, Jaws. Purple Jaws. No. Two of them? No. But, but. No, we're gonna rewind that, because I did terrible. Oh my god. Oh my god, the timing! You see the, the, the timing on these jumps. He came from the other side! Oh, I got- I dodged that one. No. Oh. I'm not even gonna rewind that. What's that noise? Oh no. Oh no. I- I, I don't know what's going on, people, so... Use your imagination. See, will continue me from the boss? Do I have to do this whole level all over again? Are you serious? I'm not doing that. Let's see how far I can rewind. That's a good thing to show off, right? Like how far I can rewind. Yeah, you can go back pretty far. Which is impressive. Can I go back all the way to the sharks? I can! Look at this. You could just keep going back. So that means I could, if I can get good at dodging these sharks, I could potentially have a full health bar to fight the boss. Oh no. Dog. Oh. Ah. Ah, no. Well, that's a better health than I had before. Let me save. It's a guy with a knife and fork! Run! He's gonna eat me! I'm gonna get epilepsy. Uh oh. 
Well, at least it's got good hit detection, unlike all the other bosses in this game. At least I know I'm hitting them. Too far back because I, I got a, a lot of good hits, so I don't have to redo the whole fight. I just need to just try not to get hit, like right there. I'm sorry that I suck, people, but this is not. Rockmod, that is that is the biggest endorsement I've ever heard. This is Diamond Camp Ghost House. Should I? I I'll, I'll do a save state for Diamond Camp House thing. How do I get past this rock? Oh, well, I do have an axe. Might as well chop down some wood. Yay, hamburger! Oh no, that's kind of creepy that the body just detaches from the head and just kind of runs around. I guess not what I meant to- oh, I lost control. No, it's the thing from Adam's family throwing plates again. Do I fall down here? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh no, there's a flood in this house. Oh, no, oh, oh, no, oh, oh. <laughs> this is bad because I have one drop of health. No, no, no. I think I'm out of it. Oh, I have one more continue. Oh, good. This is a good spot that it left me in. So, just... Hey, Rocknot, you think Kev could play this game? Oh. These ghosts look so funny. They look like the ghosts from Scream. The ghost face. I got hit way too many times. Let me start over. It's like, oh, I'm a scary ghost. Mm -hmm. What the hell is going on here? Well, good thing to give me that hamburger. Oh, that's a big jump. Oh, I don't know how I didn't get hit. Buckets. No, no, now I have a bucket on my head.
Oh, it's Wolf Boy! Oh no! <laughs> um, I think that's it. That's as far as we go. Well, that 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 was that was a good run, wasn't it? So yeah. So you will not see me beat Wolf Boy. So now Pac-Man Championship Edition. So this was made specifically for this collection. It's a D-Make. They made a NES game, uh, a Famicom version of Pac-Man Championship Edition, and it's really addictive and it's really cool. And here we go. So I haven't done the extra, they put options in here. Um, they have achievements and all this stuff. Sound test, which is pretty cool. I don't know what the extras are. I don't know what that is. But let's just start from the, uh, let's do, let's do normal. After we play this for a while, I'm gonna go back and check out what that extra was. Oh, uh. It's just impressive that they were able to have this run on Famicom hardware, sort of. A rewind feature. There we go. That didn't help me. There, that helped me. Yay. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh, no. no. Tell it badly.
Has anybody played the original uh, Pac-Man Championship Edition? I have it on Switch. And I, I really liked it. I haven't played it in a while, though, but I really liked it. So I think this is this is a pretty spot-on representation of, of the game. It's just a uh, hate style. Yeah, cool. And there is a two-player mode. Have you played the two-player mode in that? Excuse me for the wait Yeah, this is really cool. Coffee? After all that free Pac-Man strength and coffee. You guys should do a stream of it. That'll be, that'll be fun. Do you see how the the text is all glitched? I don't know why it's all glitched. That might be an Elgato thing. Because uh, I've played on the Switch and handheld mode, and the um, the countdown or whatever the text was on the screen was not glitchy like that. So maybe it's uh, something to do with Elgato. Oh, you streamed a few months back? Oh, cool. I didn't see that one. Oh, so I did pretty good. Yeah, I didn't beat my own personal best, but, uh... So let's see what this extra was. I thought there were li I didn't know it was like an actual pl a mode that you play. I thought it was just like... Kind of bonus stuff. Okay, so in, in this mode, you're kind of in a smaller space. Extra mode is definitely faster and tougher. I feel. Oh. Oh. 
Alright. Cool. A third is not bad. 